All right, Lyndon, I got good news for you. You're number 49. I don't know how to do nine. 49. 49. Number 49 accelerator student. I was so close. I was like, dude, Lyndon's 50. Because you're 49, <laughs> right? So how did I'll it go it. today? I know that you passed. How did it go? How, how did the exam go? Oh, it was uh, the first five questions were, were brutal. Uh, right. Pretty tough. I spent uh, a little more time than I thought. Uh, mm -hmm. But tried to get into a, a really good flow. Um, you know, a lot of the the the, the practice uh, quizzes helped. Um, you know, help my mind on how to how to find the right answer. And you know, I, I just keep thinking like I, I really didn't need to like memorize anything. It was just you know, doing it, and I, it's just surprising because as a perfectionist, like I I felt like I needed I needed to know all every little detail about uh, Pimbop and. That wasn't the case, and it was just really, just amazing what what you know how everything's worked out. That was pretty cool. So let's go back to kind of like your long, complicated, detailed PMP journey. How long was it? How long did it take for you? To oh, so so long. Uh, you know, if it was measured in days, it would be three weeks, um, <laughs> so, which is amazing. Um, I, I, I was asking other colleagues, you know. Uh, who have PMPs? Like, how long did you take? Um, you know, was it rough? It's like, oh, I took you know two months, three months, four months, you know, six months to study. I one one person said a year, you know, and that kind of psyched me out. <laughs> I was like, how am I going to do a, a seven day accelerator and then, um, you know, pass the PMP exam? Uh, and you know, I just Scott, I trusted you. I trusted your materials, you know. So uh, thank you for that. And you know, really appreciate all that motivation too. You know, during our calls and even even in the videos too that that was just extremely beneficial i didn't know how much that that helped me <laughs> that's awesome dude so three weeks is not bad i mean it wasn't you were working what how much did you work during the time did you take it um, all off and what would you work yeah i worked you know 40 hour work weeks probably more because of a uh, client work just really ramped up in the past three weeks and mm -hmm. um i was hoping that i would get a breather this past week and it just didn't work out so Along with that, and then, you know, family stuff, you know, I have a three-year-old wife. Um, so, you know, do it, doing all these things in addition to studying for the PMP, you know, it's, it's possible. And it's, I was really doubting myself uh, because of all the other commitments, you know, and, you know, work comes first uh, yeah, during the day. So it was there you go. tough, but, you know. You did, it. you did it in three weeks and, like, you know, it took – you didn't go crazy. You worked a full-time job. You took care of the family and stuff like that. And you were able to do it. Now, you didn't know anything beforehand, right? No Pembok knowledge, no nothing? Zero. So right. came in as, as a rook. <laughs> as a rookie, but then, you know, you, you did pretty well. So when you look through it, um, it look back, what was the most uh, important thing for you? Like what helped? Were there one or two things that helped things come together for you? Anything specific come to mind? Um, the first thing that always comes to mind is that is your PM1 view. Mm -hmm. If I didn't have that, and then the way that it logically plays out, um, mm -hmm. that really set the foundation. Uh, cool. And it really helped me kind of structure when, when we had our classes. Um, I had, uh, when, I, when I watched the videos, it, it just it helped provide that structure that I needed. Um, so you I could see things, how they flowed, what was in them, and like kind of go into them quickly and like, oh, I understand, and then come back out and stuff. Right. It's yeah. definitely the visual aspect that helped. If I saw that in, you know, how big, how big is that that Pembok guidebook? I mean, I don't know. You've never picked it up, have you? Neither have I. Never. <laughs> I haven't turned a page in it. <laughs> yeah. I haven't browsed. It's it. long. It's like super duper thick, uh, technically. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It's, it's hard to get through. Um, so cool. Do you like the PM1 view to see the big picture and kind of dive down where you were? Um, you were always on the coaching calls, which is good. And we did a ton of them with you guys. Like, yeah. what was the experience was, like for you? with the, the coaching Yeah, calls? that was the second thing that really helped. Having that, th those calls were amazing. Mm -hmm. Hearing people, um, you know, talk through questions. It opened my, my mind on, oh, wow, I didn't think about that. Um, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, well. You know, B sounds perfect to me. I would chose chose B, mm -hmm. and then someone would chime in, and say, "You know, this is my understanding of why I'm going to pick D," and you know, walk through the process. Uh, it just it just really helped, um, kind of set the example of, "Oh, this is how I should probably think about 
in the context of clue uh, of questions and um i think that's what set me up for success honestly yeah because you were in there a lot i mean just to you know, let you in on it like um you guys are a very demanding group it's a good thing like uh because we did the live sessions you know with you guys and so because melissa the you know associated with you guys and she was the first ever accelerator person so it's a special thing uh and then you guys are very i mean you're very all type a i think maybe i, I think know. so too yeah and you're all like super detailed and you're like everybody else is telling me that you got to know all these details why are you not going through like all the details and i was like like, yeah. Who are these PMP experts that I keep getting criticized by every day? Like, uh, but it's good. I mean, and so uh, you, you helped us. You helped us stay on track and you know think of the big picture because a yeah. lot of us are very detailed thinkers. So you know, big picture is that we were gonna pass, and you knew it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I kept telling you. I was like, I, I don't know why you're arguing with me. Like, you're going to pass, and I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I was like, gee, was. But I mean, I knew inside of you, you, it wasn't from a negative way. You were just very disciplined, like, yo, I want to know this thing. I want to be better. It wasn't just like, hey, I need three little letters in three weeks or whatever. Um, that's the name of this podcast, by the way. Thank you for saying that. Three little letters in three weeks. Uh, Love it. Yeah, I like that too. Uh, but you wanted to like see how the things worked, what the logic was, and you were like questioning all the time. And I think that's that's an essential aspect for anybody. Like, don't take it for granted. Like, don't like just believe. Like, test, test, test. So now that you're going back working with clients i know you guys do good work and you're out there all the time like are you looking at your client work any differently currently or or what absolutely um it shows how how much how many mistakes i've made in the past on on yeah. how I executed on projects and i do communication work so mm -hmm. um it was i don't remember really seeing much about like a communication project mm -hmm. doing this and this but i could still take those principles that we learned and use them in my work right now um you know for example i i'm doing uh, a fiscal year 2021 communication plan for oh, wow. an it office so it's it's definitely going to help me better plan uh, mm -hmm. and execute on it um and i i can actually follow pm1 view if i wanted to you know <laughs> you know you tailor and tailor the the processes that i need to be successful um, there you go it's awesome that I can use, I have these like tools in my tool belt now. That's cool, man. And the other thing I think, I, like as you're talking about the communication stuff, I was thinking, I was like, you're probably really great at the specialization that you guys do, making sure that the message is formatted correctly and organized and it's sequenced and all, whatever you're doing, you're doing well. I think a lot of the things that probably that could help out in the future is how do we make sure that everything's set up so that all those communication things can go off well and there's no snags that make you sacrifice what you're doing so i think that might play out well we'll see but uh but yeah that's cool were there any like what was we talked about like as you were going through this what are what were your big fears i always like seeing what people's fears were and i'm sorry if i didn't address them but like what were the fears as you went through as I went through the, the like the study process or whatever, study, uh, fears. Um, I guess just comprehension. Uh, okay. I, like you said, I I had no understanding of of Pimbach. I haven't read anything about it. Um, it was just very new mm -hmm. uh, to me. So I think that was that was my initial fear. Mm -hmm. But after going through the seven day accelerator, those those fears were pretty much gone out the door. Um, and it was more of, I can do this. Like, when can I do it? And then did it in three weeks. You know? so, crazy, dude. It's yeah. crazy. Give me one second. Buddy, I'll be out in one minute in the studio. I got to, I got to, <laughs> my, my charger is not working. All right. I'll be there in a minute, buddy. Okay. I understand. All right. We're back to the interview. All right. So <laughs> you have a three-year-old. I have a four-year-old, a seven-year-old, and a one-year-old who want yeah. chargers to work um so that's good uh so cool yeah i mean the comprehension part is tough right like you just it's a lot to take in and we got to format it and organize it and make it make sense especially the unique net aspect is you guys come from communication background it's not like the traditional pmp background which is it's cool that you did it and uh but it is a little different in how we apply the things so no big deal there that's pretty cool um I'm trying to think through like the actual exam. You said the first seven or five questions are really tough. Like, how did you pull yourself together and, and get going on that? Like, did you have a conversation with yourself or, or what happened? 
you know, I just, I just trusted it that okay. I knew the material, you know, I, I was doing, I was, I was doing the right things by, you know, reading the, the, the last part of the question first, mm -hmm. back, trying to find out where am I in the process? Um, what are they asking for? And then, um, you know, a lot of the questions were like, what, what should the project manager do? Or what should they do next? Or what they should have done? Yeah. Um, so that helped reframe some of uh, my mind to think, okay, well, it can't be A and B, so it has to be C, D. So I, I, at least getting to the 50-50 was huge for me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, trying to find out if it's C or D. Okay. I think that was, that's, that's probably one of the best, best things that I could do for those first five questions, you know, to really just get me in the, in the right zone. That's awesome, man. Um, cool. Did you, when you were hitting that button at the end, how, how confident did you feel? You're like, yo, I got this or what? Uh, I'm just a hesitant person. Yeah. You know, I, would, I, I, uh, I was just like, uh, I feel kind of good. <laughs> yeah. Let's don't worry. Do I felt the same way when I hit it. I was like, I feel good, but who knows, man? It, like that's exactly yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So like, that's it, natural. It, just that's accepted natural. it at that point. Yeah. Well, that's good. Well, you, you did really well. Um, I know there's people out there like you, like there's probably like, you know, building their careers, good at their job, want to expand, maybe the company sponsor them, maybe they're on their own, got a, you know, a young family growing it up and uh, you want to get their PMP or no, you have to get the PMP, but you're, you're just not sure about how to do it yet. So um, for people that are in that spot that say, Hey, Lyndon is kind of like me, or I'm like kind of like Lyndon, what would you say to them so that they end up like where you are right now, smiling and happy and, you know, on to the next stage? What would you say to those people? I say you can do it. Honestly, it's, um, it's intimidating at first, but just get over that hump and then really trust uh, Scott's direction and, and, and his, his teaching. Like it's, it just sets you up for success. And um, once you trust that and then you, 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 you get used to that and you start comprehending stuff and not memorizing it, you actually you know, get why you're doing um, this certain process or this using these tools and techniques um, it just, it just comes naturally. Um, and it, it's, it's just extremely helpful. That's cool, dude. Oh, well, that, that's pretty good. I'm, I hope those people take that advice and get in there and like stop memorizing and learn. Cause you know, it doesn't take that long and it really kind of helps you out uh, as a project manager. So that's pretty cool. Absolutely. Well, Linda, I really appreciate you taking the time. Really, really good job today. You're number 49. So no one can ever take that away from you. <laughs> Uh, so that's pretty cool. And it's easy to stick in my brain too. So, uh, so cool. I really appreciate it. Lindy. You did such an amazing job. You did a ton of hard work and, uh, you know, you're an asset to the whole team and group and all those calls really were cause you were just like positive and you're always there and in the stuff. So yeah, you know, it's sad. We'll miss you, but, uh, it's good that, you know, you're on to the next challenge. So, yeah, thank you, Scott. I mean, I really appreciate you too. This, your, your positivity, your motivation, is, it just really was helpful. Um, and I, I couldn't imagine like taking this course with just someone who was just like a deadpan, you know, instructor, <laughs> you know, just like, this is a M1 view, you know? <laughs> so yeah. you, you made it definitely more um, bearable. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's a, I'll take that as a compliment. So that's good. All right, dude. Well, thanks again. I appreciate it. And uh, have a good night. See ya. Yeah, you too. Right thanks, on. Scott, yeah. for all your help.